How many things can you do at once? How many roles might you have to play? How many hats do you wear? I'm sitting down to write this in the morning, still in my slightly sweaty PE clothes from our family exercise. I've changed to make the video. Um, and as I've read today's psalm, I've had to get up four times to help my children. Problems with IT and reading difficult words. I've answered three emails and numerous WhatsApp and Facebook messages from our church family. The job of a minister involves wearing many more hats than I ever could have imagined. You have to be an expert in charity law and finances, constitutions, safeguarding, health and safety, tax. I think about what's best for the school that I'm governor of and try and keep up with what's new in education. The pastoral care of church members, challenges to our faith from society, what the Bible might have to say about new technology and new ideas. I think about guidelines from governments and the Baptist Union which are updated almost daily, about building works and discipling. The list goes on and on and on and I haven't even got to what I do to prepare for services or reading for my own growth. We haven't got into my responsibilities as a father and husband and I know that while this is my situation I'm speaking about, the same is true for almost all of us. There is so much to think about, so much to focus on in our world today, in our lives today. Our attention is constantly being pulled in so many different directions at once. But our psalm talks about one thing. There is one thing the psalmist will focus on, one thing he seeks. As I read the words of Psalm 27, the words will appear on screen or you might have your Bibles with you. I'd encourage you to join in with the even verses. They'll be bold on the screen. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When, when the, the wicked, wicked advance against me to, to devour, devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my, then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject or forsake me, God my Saviour. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not hand me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the, God, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. One thing I ask, one thing I seek. That's hard, isn't it? Our lives are so full of distractions day in day out but maybe if we made that one thing drawing close to God our priority we might be able to make sense of all the other things to be able to sift what is important what is good what is right from what is not maybe if we seek first our God and his kingdom all these other things which compete for our attention might be easier to manage. 
How are you going to seek to draw close to God today?